Gelobt sei Jesus Christus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, dear faithful in Christ, today we celebrate the Feast of the Visitation of our Blessed Lady. Before I recorded, I reminded that we, with yesterday, entered into the month of July, and this month is dedicated to the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We must, we should realize always more the, 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 the value of Christ, the value of His precious blood. As described by Pope Clement VI in the year 1343, when he writes a bolla about um, um, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Unigenitus Filios Dei, and he describes the hypostatic union between uh, man and God. And this happens in Jesus Christ and only in Jesus Christ. And through this hypostatical union of God and man in a Jesus Christ, we have the value infinite, eternal, of His blood. One drop of His blood would have been uh, uh, sufficient to redeem the whole mankind. Jesus Christ, and we celebrated uh, shortly uh, a few, two weeks ago, the Feast of the Sacred Heart, and we remember when the soldier opened the heart with the lens and water and blood was coming out. This was the nutrition of the Church, the sacraments. Blood of Christ is the nutrition, the sacraments. We are fortified by this precious blood. We are saved by this precious blood. Or let us say, saved are those who want to be saved by this blood. All the others are condemned by this blood. Let us have a favor, especially in this month, to have an adoration of the precious blood, perhaps to pray the, the litany, and to consider what it means that God unites with human mankind, with man, with human nature, in order to, to save all people. And people are saved as long as they are saved in Jesus Christ. Without, there is no salvation. As for the feast of today, we have our Blessed Lady who goes to St. Elizabeth and St. Zachariah Zachary, to help them, because she, our Blessed Lady, knows from the Archangel that Elizabeth is pregnant and so she was hurrying, she was in a hurry to come to Elizabeth to help her in her daily needs and he rushed there and it's a distance about of about 150 kilometers from Nazareth to Bethlehem, near Bethlehem and we know the story then when Maria uh, comes to Elizabeth and when she salutes her, then Elizabeth is in exaltation and with her the, the son in the womb 
is in exultation and uh, in admiration. Immediately the son, St. John the Baptist, is cleansed already in the womb from the original sin. He gets the, the full reason and glorifies God already in his womb. He realizes and recognizes uh, Christ, uh, God, and the creator of heaven and earth. And there comes this situation of immense joy. And there was Elizabeth says, Who am I that the Lord, that the mother of my Lord, uh, cometh to me? And at this, our uh, lady responded, responded with the Magnificat. This canticle of glorification of God's majesty and mercy towards human mankind and about the glorification and the exaltation of Our Lady as well. And we see that Our Lady, she stayed there for almost three months and she had a great desire to help her, to help her um, cousin while she is pregnant, although she herself is pregnant. But there we want to take the lesson of Mary, his uh, selflessness. She gives her totally to the next. She wants to help she wants especially bring Christ to the next and then also the the, the work the she wants to to help in the in the household she wants uh, to active support material support and this is what we want to take as a lesson on the first we want to have the contemplative, contemplative, contemplative life of our Blessed Lady. And then we want to bring Christ. First we, have, we must have Christ in our heart. And then we bring Christ to the neighbor, to the next. And then we bring Christ and with then we also do the works of mercy. We help them as much as we can. This is Christian fraternity. This is the most perfect example given by our Blessed Lady. We want also uh, learn from St. John the Baptist, who already in the womb, so this is it described by Maria Cecilia Pai, he already is in in admiration, he already is in, in expectation to be laid in the hands of the Blessed Lady. So we see already in John the Baptist this great devotion to our Blessed Lady. And we also want to take lesson from the parents of St. John the Baptist, St. Saint, uh, Saint Elizabeth and St. Uh, Thackeray, because they for a long, long time were suffering, not having children, and so they were not despaired, but they had a great life of prayer, of penance, in order to to please God in order to receive this grace requested. And especially Elizabeth, he, time going on, uh, increased this life of prayer. And so it comes that they were um, satisfied, not only by Brole 
by children, by son, but as then Jesus Christ says, there is no other son greater, no other man born from woman greater than him. And this was the, the gift given by God, requested by the saintly, by the saint persons, Elizabeth and Zachary. And we also want to take lesson that we insist in our prayer. And if we don't receive it, if we don't get something immediately, that we uh, augment, that we increase our prayer life, that we have this absolute confidence, this perfect disposition, this will to do penance in order to receive the graces. Dear faithful, let us ask the heaven in these times and not only for our personal needs, for the needs of our family and of our society, that we receive what we ask and that we are visited by our Blessed Lady together with her Blessed, with her Divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed be Jesus and Mary, now and forever.